Ragnarok before starting the review, I would like to request you that if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to my channel. Now let's talk about Ragnarok without spoiling anything. Adam Price has made this series and this series was released on Netflix. I will also tell you that there are a total of six episodes of this series and each episode is between 40 to 50 minutes. So as you can see in the trailers of this series that Mangana comes to a new city with her family and as soon as she comes to this new city, she feels very changed and very powerful. But the real test of Mangana's new powers begins when she faces a very powerful family. So who is this powerful family and what does she want from Mangana and who is Mangana in reality, you will have to see this series to know all this. But let's talk about what is good and what is bad in this series. Talking about good things, there are some things that I liked in this series. One of them is that this series is not based on any comic book, but it is based on a very old Norse mythology. Now what is that mythology? It has been explained very well in this series, so I will not spoil it for you. But let me just tell you that it is about gods and giants. And the overall execution of this concept has been done in this series in a very interesting way. Although there are some issues in terms of execution, I will talk to you about that in the future. But the good thing is that a good time has been spent in this series and a dark world building has been done in which you will slowly invest. And not only this, but you will also see some interesting characters in this series, which have been written very well and have been developed. Especially you will be completely connected with the character of Mangana. And the best thing is that we also get to see strong villain characters in this series. Now if we talk about acting, then you will get to see the strong performances of all the actors in this series. And if we talk about the production quality and action sequence of this series, then we got to see very little action in this series. But whatever it is, it has been picturized very well. And the reason for the decrease in action is also that most of the focus in this series is now on character development and world building. Which is a good thing, but then the way this series ended, you will want to see this series more. And the production quality of this series is also very good. Especially the locations in which this show has been shot make this show visually very interesting. If we talk about the weak points of this series, then most of the characters are students. So we got to see a high school drama in this series, which is very typical and there is no special depth in it. The second issue is the pacing. Due to the pacing, this show gets a little slow in the middle episodes. Despite such issues, this is a worth watching series. I will rate it 8 out of 10. And I will tell you that if you like shows on superhero genres, then you must watch this series. You will enjoy it. Yes, this series is not just to watch with the family. How did you like this series? Give your opinion in the comment box. If you like my video, then like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in some other video. Thank you.